What's going on guys? My name is George. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel where I will be documenting and showing you guys um, projects that I work on in regards to the cloud and DevOps space. Uh, I am a brand new junior level cloud and DevOps engineer. Um, I built this channel to pretty much get back to the community. You know, I learned a lot on YouTube and uh, YouTube has helped me a lot as far as my journey. So um, as far as giving back to the community, um, I'm going to be showcasing projects that I've either worked on or, and I'm on and working on as far as uh, the uh, incoming future. So um, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to install an Apache web server on an AWS EC2 instance. So uh, as you can see here on my screen, I'm logged into the AWS management console. Um, this is pretty much uh, a live environment into where, um, you know, I've built a lot of my projects and so I have many people. So, um, yeah, today I'll be showing you guys how to build, uh, deploy an EC2 instance and, um, you know, load up an Apache web server onto it. So, um, if you guys are interested, uh, stay with this video and um, we'll take you there. So uh, first things first, if you don't have an AWS uh, account, please create one. It takes about mm, five minutes, um, nothing long, just like how you would with any other website or social media app. So once you create your account, um, you should be able to log in just like Hiam. Um, this is what the console looks like. And um, yeah, so the first things first, what we're gonna do is we are going to, <clears throat> type in the search box up here you should see the options for EC2 you want to click that and right here as you can see I'm in my EC2 console the first thing we're going to do is click on launch instance and the thing about uh, it EC2 instance, it stands for Elastic Compute Service. And what this does is it gives users, uh, developers, engineers, the ability, the ability to create scalable and reliable virtual machines that can be used to build applications and host web servers. So today we're gonna build one and host an Apache web server. So um, here we are on my launch uh, screen. Uh, choose a name to your liking, I'm just gonna Make one up, Apache instance, and then we're gonna choose a AMI, which stands for Amazon Machine Image. Um, pretty much, it gives us uh, a small version of a real operating system. So for this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna use the Amazon Linux, and we're gonna choose the free tier. Because you know we're we're not going to be building up a, a full scale uh, operation. So Apache, Amazon Linux. We're going to go with the default T2 Micro. <coughs> Sorry about my dog. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to choose a keep here. Uh, for security purposes, um, Amazon uh, requires that you have a key pair created so that you can be used to actually access the instance. Um, that way, in a real environment, you know you wouldn't want your instance or your application to be accessible to anybody. So the whole key pair, the whole point of having a key pair is to um, Keep it secure and only have uh, the dedicated people who are supposed to be working on this instance or application be able to have that choice. So um, if you don't already have one, click create a key pair. Um, I already have one, so I'm going to choose uh, my existing one. And once you create your key pair, it's going to give you the option to download that key pair to your machine. But make sure you do that because you will need that to... Uh, securely access your instance um, as far as the network settings we're gonna go with the 
uh, we're gonna create a new security group. I'm um, gonna select the option allow SSH from anywhere, as well as um, allowing HTTP from the internet. So this is gonna allow our instance to be able to access the internet traffic um, so that we can um, deploy our Apache web server. So you wanna have these two options selected, allow SSH from traffic, allow SSH, tra SSH traffic from, you know, internet, allow HTTP traffic from the internet. And then as far as, uh, for Mary, just for the sake of this demo, you're gonna choose everywhere. And then you want to leave the uh, EBS volume to be the default eight gigabytes. And then, yeah. So once we have that, select launch an instance. And there we go. Our instance is in the process of being created. Okay, we got a success. That's good. Now we're back in our instance window. And there we go. Here's our instance. It's in the pending state, but after a, a few seconds to a minute, it should be up and running. There we go. We got the green instance state running over here. Availability zone. It shows our default uh, availability zone. Depending on what region you're at, the availability zone may differ, but I think by default, um, it gets uh, set to the US East one. So here we go. Apache instance. Okay. So yeah, there we go. Our first part of our project is done. We successfully created an AWS EC2 instance. Um, and yep. So now that our instance is up and running. Um, we want to go through the process of actually installing our uh, our Apache. Actually, before that, we're gonna make sure that we can access our instance from a remote machine. Mm -mm -mm. Running. Okay. So our instance is up and running and we want to connect. We're going to connect to our instance using our uh, using the SSH, meaning we're going to use our local machine, AKA your computer to securely connect to our instance so that we can actually control our instance environment on our computer. So how are we going to do that? You're going to select your instance, go to connect. And because for, uh, a lot of the, you guys that are probably watching this video, when this is your first time setting up an instance, um, um, what we're going to do is you're going to, remember I mentioned the key pair? Once you download that key pair, using your uh, built-in command line or terminal, whatever you want to call it, depending on the machine that you're at, you're going to run this commands here. And pretty much... What they're gonna do is it's gonna give you, uh, it's gonna walk you through the steps on how to successfully change the permissions so that you will be able to securely access your uh, instance. Once again, this is a security feature that Amazon has in place, which I think is amazing. Um, it, the whole purpose is to keep, again, the only per the person or the group that's working on this instance in a, in, in a real actual environment will be able to um, connect to the instance. So um, you wanna run these commands on your machine. And once you do that, you'll be able to successfully, successfully log in. So let me pull up my terminal. Right, this over here. Hopefully, you guys can see that perfectly. Okay, zoom in. Okay, because I've already, um, because I already have my key pair 
like downloaded and set up what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this uh, command here shh dash I and then that's going to allow me to instantly connect to it so oh wait that's what I forgot to do so when you download your key pair by default is going to be uh, saved in your actual uh, downloads folder for me I have a Mac so whenever I download a key pair or anything from the internet it gets automatically saved in my downloads folder so what you want to do is on your local machine change your directory to downloads and then I'm gonna run this command again and then there we go once you see this Amazon Linux uh, uh, image right here that lets me know that okay I'm in my instance so um, for you guys again you're gonna connect to your instance remotely using the SSH client you're gonna run these commands and it will get you uh, up and running so what this means is right here on, on my command line I'm using my local machine to connect to the instance that we just made so um, yep so now that we are successfully in our instance we're going to um, go through the process of actually and in installing the Apache web server on our instance so the first thing I want to do is um, I want to make myself the root user and by doing that I'm going to run this command sudo su and you can see here it changed me from a regular user to the root user so now I have administrative privileges so with that I'm a root user we're gonna run this command yum install dash y http d dot x a six four let's run this command okay so what just happened we ran this command yum install dash y http d dot 86 underscore 64 what is doing is it just uh, downloaded the Apache um, uh, packages and um, yeah it, it, it did that and um, now that we have Apache on here, we have to, we actually have to go through the process of actually starting and enabling our Apache web server to be actually uh, up and running. So we have our packages installed. Now we're going to hold on. Let me clear my screen. We're going to run this command. System CTL start HTTPD service and what this command is going to do once we uh, run it is going to start the Apache web server and then to officially enable our Apache server we're going to run this command system CTL enable HTTPD dot service all right we got our link And now that we have that, let's go back to our instance. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the public IP address, the IP4, copy it, open up a new tab, paste it, and there we go. We have on our Apache web server officially deployed this is a test page if you see this this lets you know that okay you have to we have successfully um installed an apache web server onto our instance and um yeah here we go if you see this this is a good sign good job we did it and um
yeah, this is, uh, as you can see, it's not, the process is not too complicated. Um, you know, the cloud and a AWS makes, you know, just don't, jumping right in and working on uh, applications and projects and things, things of that nature is, is relatively uh, straightforward. And this is why the cloud is such uh, a powerful tool because you can do so many more things than just than what we just did. Um, th this is this is uh, this is great. So um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the steps wasn't too complicated. Um, again, this is the first of many videos, so just like you guys, I'm learning as well. And if you guys have any questions or any uh, comments or any suggestions going forward, I'm all ears. Um, uh, I'm looking to grow this channel and give back to the community. So, um, yeah, but stay tuned. Um, things will, I'll be making more content, more videos, more complex uh, videos to give to you guys. And, um, be, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll have it down in the description or on the link. So um, I appreciate, appreciate you guys for sticking th uh, with this and um, uh, being here with me. So I hope, you give, I hope you bring more value to the community and all you guys. So take care and have a good one. Be sure to, before I leave, be sure to delete... Uh, these resources, now that we're done, um, the good practice is once you're done using a particular service in the cloud, make sure that you delete all your resources. You know, we created our instance, we uh, deployed an Apache web server onto our instance, uh, we completed the task. So one major key for everyone out there, if you guys are, uh, whenever you guys are done using any type of resource, make sure you delete it. You don't want uh, to get a a bill from AWS. I'm saying this from experience. You do not want to have any lingering bills because, yeah, they, they add up, especially uh, a running <laughs> instance. So, um, yeah, be sure to delete everything and, um, yeah, just continue learning. So. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.